Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. Okay, first store, and I find something I've been on the hunt for. Here we have a nice Falcon Fire for two bucks. I've been thinking about wanting a Spamp for a while, and for two bucks, that's a great start. Above that is another great find, the trusty hammer shot. I have enough of these though, so I'm going to leave it for somebody else to find. Moving down and I come across another falcon fire. I've never seen this thing drifting before, and here we have two in the same store. This is a pretty good day so far. There was a bunch of old classic end strike stuff too. Then I came across a few Hornet variants that I haven't seen before. First there was this blue one. And over here was a green Hulk one that goes along with the Titan that we found in episode 3. These are some pretty cool finds, but not as cool as this one. A green raven for 350? Yes please! And there was a six clip hiding behind it too. After that I went and checked the bags and came across all these zing arrows. And then I found a bow not too far from them. Let's check out and go to the next store. First thing we see here at this store is another one of the Rebel style retaliators. I just can't stop coming across these since I picked one up now. There was also a super drum here for three bucks. I always debate picking these up because they're so big and I don't know where I'm gonna store it, but it's still a really cool blaster. There was also this original Alpha Trooper for two bucks. Up here on the top shelf, I found a Dreadbolt, which is perfect for those arrows that we found in episode seven. This one though, it's seen its better days and uh, the priming bar was bent and they wanted 10 bucks for it? No thank you. I'll wait for another one. Here's a nice Apollo for three bucks, and it has its magazine. Then on the other aisle, I spotted something painted all black. It turned out to be a rapid strike. I looked inside to see if it was modded at all, but no luck. Just a bad paint job. Lastly, I made my way over to the final aisle, and I came across this beautiful strife. This thing is almost perfect. It looks brand new. It's got all of its warning stickers and everything. After this, it was time to check out, but I decided to step next door to Ross just to see if they had anything. And boy, am I glad I did. First thing I come across is an Apollo set for 20 bucks. It's crazy because right next door there's the exact same thing for $3. They had a couple of these same sets with the mask and the blaster. And then I saw it and I couldn't believe it.
This place has a Prometheus! Holy moly! This thing is brand new, and it's only a third of what it would cost anywhere else. Normally I don't spend this much on Earth, but I'm gonna make an exception this time. I am so hyped to use this on the field. That does it for this trip. I went home with a Raven, a Strife, the Falcon Fire, a bunch of Zingbo stuff, and a brand new rival Prometheus. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.